Hi, Renee Jones here with Pack Your Own Bag. So last week we were talking about getting a bit caught out when we realize we're not using the tools we already have at hand. Did you rediscover a tool or two? And was it a pleasant discovery? Or maybe one of them was quietly put it back and try to avoid thinking about it. Oh, that tool. <laughs> yes, I know. I've been there as well. It's one we may know works, but we don't like. Or maybe we're afraid it just won't work for us this time. Or maybe we fear it will work. And that could create a problem of a different sort. It could be a book, a program, a process, a nutrition or exercise plan, a piece of equipment, even a recipe. Something that you already possess that you just haven't been utilizing it. What stops us from using the tools we have? Big question. See if any of these resonate with you. Okay, sometimes we're just a bit forgetful and that's fair enough. But the psych nerds amongst us also know sometimes it happens for a reason, doesn't it? There are many possibilities, but today let's just look at one. Maybe we're overachievers who've crammed our heads with so much information that we can't seem to hold on to what we want. I can be kind of an information pack rat. And the problem is that then I'm overwhelmed. So maybe I don't find a way to get organized or clear enough to use it. Or I can't use it because I can't find it. How about you? It's just easier to go to the next available thing rather than dig through the stack to find what worked before. Or maybe we have to face that we haven't applied ourselves to the task and done the hard work. Ouch! And dang, I don't like that answer, do you? Yet that's when we have to face it. That's when we have to make choices. What changes are we willing to make for our goal? Or perhaps we believe we want that goal, but we really only want the result. If we could snap our fingers and be at that goal, we'd be very happy. Thank you very much. But if we have to put forth a lot of effort to get there, well, um, mm, maybe we just don't want that goal as much as we thought we did. And that's okay. They're your goals. You get to make them or change them or abandon them. But we have to be honest with ourselves because that dissonance between what you say you want and what you truly want will be frustrating and annoying. And that will kick up your need for soothing, which creates emotional eating. So take some time this week to get really clear to be honest with yourself. What is it that you truly want? And whatever it is, that's perfectly okay. It's you being you. And that's the best goal, both for you and those around you. All the best.